Okay, welcome to IED for you. Today we are going to discuss about another case note regarding Mrs. Anida Ramurthy. Okay, writing subtest, nursing, time allowed is again reading time 5 minutes, writing time 40 minutes. Read the case note below and complete the writing task which follows. So as soon as you go to the case note in an examination center, what you're going to do is read the first line of the case note that usually says who you are in that particular situation okay here mrs anita ramamurthy a 59 year old woman is a patient in the inpatient department of a hospital in which you are a charge nurse so you can identify that you are a charge nurse in a hospital so the hospital name is already given sydney women's hospital so as soon as you find out that one what you're going to do is you are going to read the actual task writing task assigned to you for that particular case note okay so we'll scroll down and we'll see what is the actual case note okay so writing task one here using the information given in the case note write a, a referral letter to miss prabha thrifty nursing home care agency sydney requesting a home visit to provide instructions on self-monitoring of blood glucose levels and administering insulin injections following Mrs. Ramamurthy's discharge. Okay, so actual case notes, what we are, we are going to discuss in writing task is always few things we need to remember. So is it, what kind of letter is it? So it is a referral letter so that what we got it from, is it a, to a non-person? Or, or an unknown person so it is to an unknown person so it is not a known case okay so we find out that one is it an urgent letter or not it is not an urgent letter so we are writing what is the actual purpose of the letter the fourth one is what is the actual purpose of the letter and the fifth one is to whom we are writing so we are writing to miss prabha srishti nursing home care agency that is clearly given in the case note okay writing task and for what we are writing requesting a home visit okay so to provide instructions so what purpose to provide instructions on self-monitoring of blood glucose levels and administering insulin injections following mrs stavmurthy's discharge okay so from the first bit we got that patient was under your care because you are the charge nurse in a hospital in an inpatient department and Mrs. Tamamurthy is going to discharge and you're going to write a letter to one of the care home to request to provide instructions on self-monitoring of blood glucose level and to request a home visit okay and administering insulin injections following Mrs. Tamamurthy's discharge okay this is the actual purpose of this letter so what you are going to do with all this information is you have to draft an introduction okay so uh, you have to draft an introduction in your mind in that five minutes time and go back and read the entire case note because you are asking a question here why mrs jamamurthy need instructions on self-monitoring of blood glucose levels and why she need instructions for administering insulin injections these are the two questions you have to ask yourself then you have to find the answer from the following case note okay so you have to read the case note from top to bottom to understand to find out the answer okay so we'll go and read it from the beginning again so you have five minutes of reading so you have to be thorough with you know move on to each bit each case note and understand whether it is which one is relevant or semi-relevant or irrelevant for to say your purpose to miss prabha the srishti care home nurse okay so uh, here the patient details is given patient is married height is given weight is given bmi is given okay so address for correspondence is the admitted on which date in your ward and discharge on which date most of the time the discharge date is the date of your letter writing so it would be an important thing and usually the admission date is also very very important while you are writing about the patient's history 
so you need all this bit of information so diagnosis acute appendicitis with appendicular lump so while you are reading this one you should understand what is actually actual purpose of the letter the actual purpose of the letter is to provide information regarding self monitoring of glucose levels and administering insulin injection so keep in that mind always and when it is linked to that then you can pick it up okay so treatment is conservative management with iv antibiotics for appendicitis plan for interval appendectomy or appendectomy in six weeks time social background is clearly given business woman hectic educational consultant hectic life travels a lot due to work lives with the husband mr krishnan ramamurthy and two daughters both married elder daughter stays in sydney about three hours away work as an entrepreneur young daughter in canada works as a dentist husband is the primary caregiver elder daughter visits with husband once in year and scared of hospitalization prone to anxiety related to this fond of eating out rarely cooks at home sedentary lifestyle compliance of no time to exercise due to work does not drink or smoke so when you are talking about you know when you are getting all the information so you have to find out which are the very very important relevant informations you need to include in your letter okay for that you can see that patient uh, about uh, living you know the social history and all and that is mixed with some of the information that is very needed for you see fond of eating out because the patient is diabetic and we are talking about insulin regime and things so that is one thing so rarely cooks at home sedentary lifestyle is very very important and complaints of no time to exercise due to work and does not drink or smoke so you don't need to mention that but at least this exercise and sedentary lifestyle is gives more importance regarding when it comes to the uh, diabetes mellitus okay so diet is whole milk ice cream shakes fruit drinks uh, duff nuts pancakes waffles pizzas cheeseburgers biscuits muffins uh, cats and fries and hash browns lots of stuff okay so medical background non case of essential hypertension in 2014 and diabetes mellitus type 2 2010 non compliant with diabetic medication so the patient the actual compliant here is the patient who is not compliant with her diabetic medication is the actual condition presenting condition that you're going to talk about to the recipient okay admission and diagnosis compliance of pain in abdomen because the patient was admitted to the hospital because of appendicitis so compliance of pain in abdomen in right iliac fossa since 1706 2017 pain was sudden in onset acute in nature and was non-radiating fever non-radiating and fever documented up to 101 degree uh, fahrenheit aversion to food evaluated outside uh, where usg abdomen revealed acute appendicitis admitted for further evaluation and management and physical examination done conscious oriented no pallet no uh actress no clubbing no lymphadenopathy no pedal edema and bp was 126 84 temperature febrile pulse is 72 per minute and respiratory rate is 22 spo2 is within the limit cns is okay chest bilateral entry equal no added sounds nursing management and process 1806 2017 abdomen ct was taken 1806 2017 acute appendicitis appendicitis with a uh, hypotense area in the region of base of appendix at its attachment with cecum it's a query and phlemo phlemonous collection and possibility of seal perforation cannot be ruled out total leukocyte count is 21000 okay so iv fluids given broad spectrum antibiotics uh, ppi analgesics antipyretics other supportive treatment was given and regular blood glucose monitoring was also given on 196 2017 tlc is uh, 18000 
and compliance of considerable pain in abdomen, headache, sips of water, extremely distressed, constipation, unable to pass gas, and 26 2017 TLC is 14,000 compliance of insomnia, headache, tenderness in abdomen, weakness, uh, tolerating sips of coconut water and tea. Then on the next day, again, the count and uh, tolerating soft diet can amplify with assistance, compliant of weakness, reference to dietitians at uh, diabetic diet. Okay, so that you are uh, coming to the point again regarding dietitian okay so again uh ambulate ambulate slowly independent with ADLs and all on 22nd and 23rd patient is stable uh, accepting orally well adequate urine output dlc showing improving trend and patient is stable and uh, reference to endocrinologist regular chart bsl injection uh, human mixed thread subcutaneously bd eight units and breakfast and six units at dinner okay so assessment again uh, we got injection human okay human mixed it subcutaneously that is the insulin injection uh, prescribed for her so assessment patient stable with plan for in, uh, interval appendix appendectomy six weeks after so medication was uh, tablet dolo was prescribed uh, and a tablet uh, pantosid 40 milligram main for 10 days okay so uh, tablet uh, tenore 25 mg that is for uh, you know blood pressure and uh, Suprendine multivitamin main and tablet Ferroback 200 BD. Discharge plan was avoid strenuous activities. That means travel because she is a very busy woman and uh, uh, she used to travel a lot. So we need to talk to her regarding that travel thing if and advise her to lose weight. So it, here it comes to the important things for the um, care home. To advise regarding loose weight exercise program to start after appendectomy okay normal diabetic diet okay again diabetic diet and low fat diet needs to be given okay patient requests more information patient requests more information especially simple receipts that can be easily prepared at home that's for the if they uh, for the dietitian they can help with that okay and follow-up consultation okay so monitoring of fast fasting and post blood sugars present charting during follow-up consultation so needs to be done at home and uh, follow up in opd on 36 2017 at 3 pm husband advised to contact us immediately in case of persistent high grade fever and patient concerned re-monitoring blood glucose levels and insulin injection that's why we are writing this letter because the reason for writing the letter is patient concerned about blood glucose level monitoring and insulin injections and husbands request a home visit for demonstration these are the important informations you can get it from this case note so while you are reading the case note what you can understand is even if it is a big case note for actually for your uh, purpose that is related to uh, giving information provide information for uh, uh, regarding insulin uh, administration as well as uh, uh, glucose monitoring it is not that much uh, needs to be tell in your story in your letter okay so that will be a tricky part so uh, okay so i will move on and see how your letter will be okay in a minute okay so letter so yeah maybe it's a typo i'm just uh, writing it's correct Miss Prabha, Srifti Nursing Home Care Agency, Sydney, 23rd 6, 2017. Dear Miss Prabha, regarding Miss Anita Ramamurthy, aged 59, I am writing to request a home visit for Miss Ramamurthy to provide an instruction on self monitoring of blood 
sugar level and administering insulin injections following her discharge today her appendectomy is scheduled in six weeks that is good but you know you don't need to say about appendicectomy but it is very very good introduction nothing uh, to correct in that one okay so well done okay moving forward miss ramamuthi has been suffering from type 2 diabetic mellitus definitely we are talking about you know as the evaluation criteria says the purpose is immediately apparent in the introduction and it needs to be sufficiently expanded in the following paragraph so it is well said that you talk about the self monitoring of blood glucose levels and administering insulin injections in the introductions then you moving forward to Mrs. Ramamurthy's diabetic history, that's well. Okay, so Mrs. Ramamurthy has been suffering from type 2 diabetic mellitus since 2010 and she has non compliant with diabetic medication. She leads a sedentary lifestyle and has an unhealthy diet plan and she is obese with BMI 33. Good. So she leads a sedentary lifestyle, should be together okay so that is only one article mistake so you just needs to be careful okay all right okay so a sedentary lifestyle and has a unhealthy diet plan okay an unhealthy diet plan so this is all uh, Again, bit an article problem here. Good, corrected. Okay, so well, moving forward then. Social history is there. So the patient's, uh, you know, the medical history needs to be tell, but it won't, it, you don't need to be explained too much about the medical history, but only thing you need to talk about patient was admitted and about going to be having an appendix appendectomy on after six weeks time so that you already mentioned even in the introduction as well so we'll see what you're gonna return okay so mrs ramothi was admitted okay that's a typo the okay so admitted to the hospital okay on 17 uh, 06 2017 with abdominal pain and has been diagnosed with uh, diagnosed with mm -hmm, diagnosed with so better diagnosed with okay so acute uh, appendicitis with appendicular lump and conservative managements were provided her blood sugar level was monitored okay again uh, one type of the so um, was monitored on a daily basis uh, and dietitian was uh, reviewed advised normal diabetic and low fat diet additionally instructions to lose weight exercise program will start after her surgery okay so mrs ramamurthy was referred to endocrinologist and suggested to monitor fasting and prospandial sugar levels and keep a sugar level chart which needs to be presented on her follow-up visit on 30th 06 2017 at 3 p.m you don't need to say exact time on that but you can say until here okay that's fine all right so presently she is on injection a humulin mix start eight units before breakfast and six units before dinner subcutaneously for one week okay so two things you have to you told about uh, um, you know about everything until here was good okay look at this so it's about medical history again it's about really about medical history in conservative management so as provided absolutely correct okay so when you're going to say about uh, regarding again about the insulin or about uh, the diabetic thing so you need to talk about something in a fresh paragraph because that is the whole idea in this letter so what i suggest is better you can press uh, you can write okay so uh write about uh, 
about blood glucose level so you can mention in a separate paragraph that she has been referred to dietitian regarding her you know her diet and because since she was on a you know the uh, diet she was on taking yeah so that uh, diabetic diet is suggested to her so that you can mention in a separate paragraph and needs her blood sugar monitored monitoring on a daily basis for that she request more information okay so for that she was a little bit concerned okay that you can mention okay that's one thing then again about uh, this one uh, this is absolutely fine but again you need to mention that about what's uh, in the case note says so what's the case note says about endocrinologist that you need to be let's say yeah monitoring patient concern re-monitoring okay so the injections postprandial present chart so this you needs to be uh, monitored that uh, she need assistance for so presently she is on injection human uh, human mixed trad eight units before uh, breakfast and six units before dinner and subcutaneously for one week and she requested okay for a home visit or her husband requested a house home visit to demonstrate how to do the injections properly okay that you need to mention there then the letter would be absolutely fine so two things one about about uh, requesting okay so we'll write here A request of husband regarding regarding how to do insulin injections and for a home visit visit okay that you can add okay sorry for that okay that's good okay so sorry all right this would be good okay so this is fine just as uh, some suggestions that you can see the and you can add for that she was so diabetic low fat this one needs to be rearranged the paragraph okay as we arrange the paragraph here yeah? that is the suggestion there okay okay so that's a bullet pointer you can say that's a bullet okay that is going to be uh, one of the points we can say okay and this is another one oh, good so uh, well done with this letter actually you are not uh, you know improving a lot here yeah. so absolutely fine okay so is there any corrections or anything you need just contact me all right so message me on my whatsapp thank you very much